Making five to $10,000 a month is not as difficult as people make it out to seem. I've now done over $3 million myself and I've helped so many people get to that five to 10K a month level. And I'm currently working with people doing 30, 40, 50K a month, as well as a ton of beginners just starting from scratch and wanting to make the first thousand bucks. And so in this video, I'm gonna tell you what I tell my paying clients. I'm gonna give you the three mistakes right now that almost all of my paying clients have made and or are making right now so that you don't need to pay me for this advice. You get it right here so that you can get to five to $10,000 a month a lot faster. So when I was first getting started in this online business space, I watched videos like this all the time. So what you're doing right now is one of the smartest things. Finish this video, what's up Crow? Finish this video and by the end, you'll know exactly what not to do to make five to 10K a month, as well as what to do to make five to 10K a month. So the first mistake that I see people make is thinking that five to $10,000 a month is a lot of money. It's not, it's poverty level. You think you're gonna buy a house like that with five to 10 grand a month? No, you think you're gonna buy a house like that with five, 10 grand a month? No. Do you think you can afford to live anywhere in Los Angeles with a family and, a, and have a decent car with five to 10 grand a month? No. And especially not in the near future with the rate of inflation going up when everything's becoming more and more expensive. Five to 10 grand a month is poverty level. Get this notion out of your head that, oh, that's a lot of money. It's not. When I ask people how much money they want to make per month, a lot of them are like, oh, I want to make $2,500 a month. I'm like, you want to make less than, you want to make 30 grand a year? the fuck are you living in ethiopia living in kenya no you're in america you're in canada you're in australia you're in england why are you saying you want to make 30 grand a month or sorry 30 grand a year aim for 30 grand a month take your annual income goal and make it your monthly income goal that's what you've got to do because if you start Keep aiming so low, you're gonna just be putting in the bare minimum effort subconsciously because you know the results you're gonna be getting are so low. Look in the bushes here because a bear might pop out. If you see a bear, let me know. Uh, so that's mistake number one, aiming too low. What I'd recommend you do is pick a number that feels uncomfortable, but you know other people are doing. So what I did when I was super broke is I aimed for $25,000 a month. There's a lake near here down the road. I used to float in the lake on my back and I kept thinking and saying to myself, I make $25,000 a month. I make $25,000 a month. And that number felt embarrassing. I felt embarrassed to say that number because it was so unrealistic. I don't know if you guys know this, but go back, go watch all my old YouTube videos. And, and you'll see, I was just this broke hippie. I was this broke hippie living in Thailand. I didn't know how to do anything I know how to do now a few years ago completely clueless. So 25K a month felt insane. It felt embarrassing. And I was like, no one in my family's ever made that much money. I'd be the richest person in my whole family tree if I can make that much money. Uh, I, I don't deserve that much money. I'm, there's people much smarter than me who deserve that much money, but not me. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just a broke hippie. But I said it anyway, because that's what I was taught. I did it because I was taught it. And a lot of people don't do what they're taught. Like, I was talking to a virgin the other day and I was trying to help him get laid because he wants to get laid. And I'm like, dude, he, he, he has money so he can move out. And I'm like, dude, move out, get a house. How are you supposed to, how are you supposed to, uh, when you meet a girl, where are you going to bring her to get laid? Are you going to bring her back to your mom's house? No. Are you going to bring her back to your parents' house? No. That's weird. Uh, you're not going to want to bring them back to your parents' house. Your parents are not going to want to hear you having sex. Your girl's not going to want to come back to your parents' house. If you have your own place, which you can afford, that chick's gonna be very attracted to you. That girl, a lot of people get offended when I say chick. That girl's gonna be offend, uh, That girl's gonna be very attracted to you, you having your own place. When you meet her, you're gonna be able to bring her back to your own place and get the job done. And there's this virgin telling me like, oh no, once I meet a girl, then I'll get a house. And it's like, oh, you're thinking like a virgin. That's why you're still a virgin. So a lot of beginners in the online business space, they hear really good advice, they don't take it. And so, you don't have to take any advice in this video. You can disregard it, but you'll probably stay broke. So what I did is even though it, I didn't want to, even, I didn't want to take the advice because it just felt so awkward and embarrassing to, for me to think I would make 25 grand a month. I did it anyway. So that's, that's the first mistake though, is aiming too low. And then mistake 1.5 is not taking the actual advice. So I kept repeating that. I make 25 grand a month. 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 
Next thing you know, what was I doing? I did 18 grand, I did 20 grand, and I did 25 grand. And then my third month of really dialing in my business, I had 25 grand. Third, three months in. So that's number one, aim higher. Number two, mistake number two is focusing on yourself way too much instead of focusing on the market. So what do I mean by that? Well, market wants what market wants. When I was a little boy, I went to a garage sale and I was really into Pokemon cards. And so I went to this garage sale and guess what I tried to sell? My Pokemon cards. But all the people coming to this garage sale, it was like a flea market, big garage sale flea market thing. All the people coming were like these 60 year old ladies. None of them wanted my Pokemon cards. And I was a little disappointed because I was expecting to make a lot of money because I was into Pokemon cards. I'm like, Pokemon cards are amazing. These are worth a lot of money. Got a freaking Charizard here. You know, what do you mean you don't want my Blastoise? What do you mean you don't want my Pikachu? These ladies were not interested. What they wanted were antiques. They wanted old lady clothing. They wanted napkins and stuff like that for the kitchen. And I didn't have any of that to sell, so I didn't make any money. And so I came back the next week, having learned from the previous week, and I was like, I'm not gonna sell Pokemon cards this time. This time I'm gonna sell antiques. I'm gonna sell um, handkerchiefs. I'm gonna sell napkins. I'm gonna sell necklaces. I'm gonna sell some jewelry. And guess what happened? Sale, 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 sale. So I understood at a very young age, the market wants what the market wants. It's not up to me, it's up to them. They decide, they tell me what they want to buy, I'll give it to them. If, 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 if purely following your passion was enough to make money, all the broke hippies right now would be rich because the broke hippies are just following their passion. They're, they're dancing around the, the grass fields wearing their sunflower dresses and um, flower ribbons and they're just singing Kumbaya they're following their passion, but they're not rich because they're not selling anything that the market wants. So I'm gonna tell you right now the four things that the market wants. Write these down because only these are the only four things. And people pay me to hear what I'm about to tell you right now. So save your money, put your wallet back in your credit card. You're gonna get this completely for free right here. These are the four things that people will pay for. And there are only four things people will pay for online in a big way. People buy all sorts of stuff in a small way. They buy dog treats, they buy, hats, they buy um, shoelaces, a whole bunch of stuff. I'm talking big money. If you want to make big money online as a coach, as a consultant, as a service provider, there are only four things people will actually pay for. Now, before I get into what these four things are, understand that at the end of the day, whenever somebody pays you money, whenever you pay someone else money, what you're actually buying, what they're actually buying, what we're all actually buying is an end result. We're buying the end result of something. So for example, when you go to the grocery store to buy some food, what you're actually buying is satiation. When you go to the gym to work out and you buy a gym pass, you're not, you're not buying a gym pass because you want a gym pass. You don't want that little plastic card in your wallet. You're buying a gym pass because you want a dream physique. You want a super sexy physique, right? So at the end of the day, we're all buying an end result. When you when you download uh, Tinder and you buy Tinder Pro or Bumble Pro or whatever it's called, you're not buying Tinder Pro or Bumble Pro because you want Tinder Pro or Bumble Pro. You're buying that app because you want love. You want a soulmate or you just want sex. Like you, There's an end result you're actually going for. So keep that in mind. So these are the four things. Number one, people will spend big money on making money or saving money. Wealth, that's the first category, wealth. I've spent so much money on learning how to make money and I've spent so much money learning how to save money. Like paying very low taxes in Dubai, for example. So that's the first category is wealth. And this is the, this is the, this is the niche, this is the end result I recommend most beginners, probably you watching this, focus on trying to sell a service for or a product for. Help other people make money. If you can help somebody make an extra 10 grand a month or an extra, even an extra five grand a month, whatever, you can easily charge them one, two, three, four, five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 for that service. People will pay money to make more money. It's very obvious. And you don't need to be an expert guru to do this. You can be a complete beginner. 
Second thing people big, pay big money for is relationships. Like I talked about with Tinder, people will pay money to learn how to uh, get a girlfriend, get a boyfriend, find a soulmate, fix a marriage, have better sex, have more sex, lose their virginity, whatever. Relationships sells incredibly well. The third one is chronic pain relief, chronic physical pain relief. I'm not talking emotional pain relief. I'm not talking about overcoming depression. Depressed people rarely buy things because they're too depressed to even get out of bed and take out the credit card. I'm talking chronic neck pain, back pain, knee pain, joint pain, spinal pain. People will pay big money to get out of pain. And the fourth thing people will pay big money for is in, drum roll, it's not health. It's not health. A lot of vegans and raw vegans and keto people and paleo people, they're trying to push their diet and say, be healthy with this. Nobody buys that for big money. Nobody pays big money to learn how to eat a vegan diet. Newsflash. What they really want is beauty. Women want to be more beautiful. Men want to be more attractive. We will pay for beauty. And this is typically weight loss or muscle gain and or both. So if you can help somebody be more beautiful, you can help somebody improve or optimize their relationships, you can help somebody get out of chronic pain, you can help somebody make some money, you will make a tremendous amount of money. You make so much money, you can buy that house. No problem. Five, 10K a month, just the beginning. Five to 10K is per client you'll be able to charge. This is why it's such a joke to talk about making five to 10 grand a month. It's such a joke because if you just get one new client every month, that's an extra five to 10 K a month right there. So that is the uh, second mistake, not picking one of those four things. Now, do you notice how those four things, it doesn't matter what niche you're in because you could open up your phone contact list in your phone right now, scroll down, and every single person in your contact list would buy one of those four things. I've paid money for all four of those things in some way, shape or form. You have too, and if you haven't, you would. If, if the results in any of those four categories were guaranteed or as close to guaranteed as possible, or you felt certain that the thing you're buying is for sure gonna help you with one of those four things, you'd spend the money, thousands of dollars, no problem. Because you don't wanna be ugly, you want to be attractive, you want to be beautiful, you don't want to be fat, you want to, you want to be lean, sexy, have a great physique that you're proud of, that you feel really good in, right? You pay for that. I just went to Turkey and got a hair transplant. It's growing in ever so slowly right there. I've also paid for personal training before, right? Because I, I want to look my best. I paid for online fitness programs. I can give you an example of every single thing across the board. I'm not going to right now, but just think of all the things that you, you've paid for or you would pay for that fit into one of those four. Anything outside of those four, yeah, you can sell, but you've got to be either willing to sell it for a low price or you've got to be super famous, like Oprah Winfrey, Tony Robbins type thing. If you're uber famous, you can get away with selling nearly anything. If you're not uber famous, you got to be willing to sell it for a very, very low price. Like let's say you want to sell a meditation course or just like a self-improvement course or a course on um, how to make vegan recipes. Yeah, sure, sell it for 15 bucks, go ahead. But try selling that for thousands of dollars, yeah, right. Again, unless you're Oprah Winfrey or Tony Robbins. So those are the only exceptions. All right, so now the third and final mistake we're gonna talk about in this video is the mistake of not charging high prices. A lot of beginners, including myself, been there, done that. We, we don't have that self-belief required, rightfully so, in the beginning stages to charge a high ticket amount. Whoa, a, that dog used to scare me all the time and now he scared me again. Good job, you got me, you win. Oh yeah, woof. That dog used to get me every time. Got me again. All right, not charging high enough prices. So what I recommend is for pretty much every single person, if you're gonna pick one of those four, which I recommend if you wanna make five, 10K a month, pick one of the four and then Rather than immediately coming out of the gates and charging people $1,000, $2,000, $3,000, $4,000, $5,000, $10,000 for your services, work with somebody for free. Work with somebody for free. Build up the confidence 
to then charge people money. Go through your phone contact list, get a beta client, that's what I call them. Get a beta client, work with them completely for free. It's very easy to get a beta client. You open up your phone contact, you send them a text message or you call them up and you say, hey, Jimmy Bob, I just started my coaching program. I just, I'm just starting my um, consulting firm. I'm just starting my agency, my, my done for you agency. And I'm looking for a client to get great results for and get some practice with, get some experience with. I'd love to work with you completely for free to get you this result in exchange for a success story once we find results or once we get results. Something like that. It's very simple. You send that to three, four, five people on your phone list, you're going to get somebody who agrees to do it with you. And if they all say no, which they probably won't, but if they all say no, then you reply back and say, who do you know that would be a good candidate for this? Who do you know who I could work with? And then you work with them for free. Once you get some experience, the next client you work with, charge them a thousand bucks. That way you can say, oh, I work with people to do this. Like when you're having conversation, you're not an imposter anymore. You don't have imposter syndrome anymore because you're no longer an imposter. You're actually working with somebody. Yeah, they're free, but you're working with them nonetheless. So I remember as a personal trainer, when I first got started, I felt like an imposter until I gave my mom a personal training session. I gave my mom a free personal training session. I had her do some basic squats and lunges. And I remember after that first session with my mom, I was like, I'm a, I'm a personal trainer. I'm a personal trainer. I just trained my mom. And then the next client was my friend from high school. And I'm like, oh, I'm on a roll. I've got clients, plural. Then I trained my sister. I'm like, I've got three clients, my mom, my, my best friend, and my sister. And then once I had those three beta clients, my sister's like, oh, do you want to work with my friend Janelle? And I was like, sure. And I worked with her friend, charged her $15 an hour, and now I had paying clients. Now I was like actively getting paid to do the thing. And then I kept upping my rate with every client I got. And eventually, I was charging $100 per session. But that was a, as a personal trainer in my early 20s, late teens. Now online, it's the same sort of deal, though. You start for free, get some experience, and then charge high amounts. You're not going to get rich charging low ticket. It's not going to happen. Unless, again, you're super famous. But even then, if you're super famous and you have millions of followers or thousands of followers and you charge low ticket, you're not going to make anywhere near as much as if you were to just charge high ticket. So, those are the three mistakes. Hopefully, you found this video helpful. I know I would have found this video super helpful if I was just starting out. And again, these are the three things that I've got to tell my clients over and over and over again. I'm glad you didn't have to pay for this advice and I'm hoping to make a lot more videos like this for you in the very near future so that you don't need to pay me for any of my products or services. You can just watch these videos completely for free. My goal is to give away all of my information completely for free. I want to tell you exactly what I'm telling my paying clients. And if you're wondering, well then Ted, why would somebody actually want to pay you money? People end up paying myself and my team money so that we can do the work with them slash for them. So if you want one-on-one -on -one private help with implementing this advice. You want us to come up with your offer with you slash for you. You want us to help, you want us to help you build out your, your funnels and your sales flow with you slash for you. If you want us to help you build out your audience growth machine so more and more eyeballs can get on you every single month, we can do that with slash for you as well. Or if you just want access to me on a regular basis to pick my brain, ask me anything anytime, uh, then you can go ahead and work with myself and or my team. Just click the link below this video and you can either schedule a call with us or you can sign up for uh, my free community or my paid community. Totally up to you. But again, I want to give you all the information I have completely for free. I don't want to charge for any of my thoughts. I want to put those out there. I know charge. And then if you want to work with us, that's how you can, uh, that's how you can get results a lot faster, obviously, because we'll be implementing with you slash for you. And it just costs a little bit of money, but we'll make you a lot more, most likely if you're a good fit. So. That's how it works. All right, ciao for now. Peace out, much love, adios. Link below to uh, potentially work with me or watch more videos like this. Adios, bye.